Villager versus Peach. Now this matchup mm, seems interesting where Villager's game plan, as it often is, is to wall people out. He has some really great projectiles, that Lloyd Rocket, the Slingshot, and Peach kind of struggles with mobility in general. She's not the, uh, even though it might seem like she's pretty fast when she gets in your face, getting to that point can actually be difficult for her, especially if the opponent is careful and <gasps> he ran out of fuel. That is actually a thing that can happen to Villager. I rarely see it, but that was a zero to death from Ling Ling. Just clean stuff. He hasn't yet to be touched. Are we actually going to see a JV4 here? All right, he gets the first hit. And funnily enough, dodges the ooh, dodges the first grab because of the intangibility on counter. Oh man, but look at the way Ling Ling is playing right now. You can tell he's hungry for a big win. Just pretty much speed runs straight to top eight. Poco M has been unable to deal more than 37% of the entire game so far. Sling showing his dominance here. But this is an entire set. Now, it, this you can't even... I think this game might sort of be beyond Poco M's reach. But he has to sort of think about, okay, I have a game two. I might even have a game three to work with. What is actually, what went wrong in this game? <laughs> and as far as that, I think he's starting to find more of a groove here. Mainly has to do with stage positioning. As we're seeing, going to the middle of the stage here. Oof. And, all right, now he sets up these projectiles. Oh, but Ling Ling still finds the openings. Peach does have, even though she can struggle with, like, you know, she doesn't have the greatest run speed, her air speed is actually not as good as you would think. But, the, but because of her float cancels, because of the unique movement aspect there, she can weave past projectiles in a way that no other character really can. And that's what a lot of we're seeing, the way he's able to just find ways underneath the Lloyd rockets and get these big neutral airs. And Pokemon has yet to take a stock so far. But doing some cute things with the turnip, but just a little bit late on the bowling ball means Ling Ling is living at 157%. He's now trapped at the ledge. But honestly, if you're a villager, you're pretty comfortable at the ledge. Oh, but you're not going to be comfortable being pressured in the corner by a juicy beach. That is uh, juicy like on the pants juicy, by the way. into game two. I think that <sighs> when it comes to stages, a flatter stage, and I think to, did he pick uh, Kalos? Yeah, I kind of maybe assume that FD was banned, and if so, Town and City and Kalos would probably be the best picks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had to guess, maybe FD and possibly either Smashville or Town and City were the bans. And so now we have this stage where two notable things about it. Ooh. Oh, yeah, she recovers with the side B. I think he's trying to actually preserve the fuel on his up B, perhaps. Oh, or maybe he's just having to have a hitbox on the way back, because when you, he doesn't, that happens to him. Ling, and he has a stitch in his hand. I don't know if he realizes this. Okay, he does not get hit by it. Pokemon managed to dodge what could have been huge percent there, especially because when Ling Ling hits you once with that, he will re-grab it, and he will get it more and more damage. I have seen him, if he can confirm a single stitch, it can lead to 90 plus percent, even a stock. So the fact that Pokemon was able to avoid that means that at the very least, things are not completely gone for him. But as it stands, he is still kind of being oppressed right now, although he's taking initiative here, and I kind of like that. Instead of going for, uh, he's abusing his, uh, what is actually some pretty decent frame data, especially on the neutral air. Interesting, yeah, despite the fact he is not doing as much of that projectile game as before. Instead, yeah, he's trying to box it with Peach. Using Lloyd as more of an approach tool as opposed to a keep away option. Look at these neutral airs. Spin to win. Oh, what a great counter from Ling Ling. 
And what a great interception on top of that. He might not drop a single stock this game. He's looking complete control. And, oh man, look at this. Even more damage here. Pokalam is off stage. Finally gets a little bit of control, but what can he do with it? Oh, that forward air really nice. Can he actually get the stock here, though? So far, Ling has been getting off ledge pretty much for free. And wow, the spacing on that side be getting right past the tree and managing to actually hit Pokalam. All right, there we go. The first stock from Ling Ling being taken in the set. And yeah, this is going to be really difficult for Pokalam, but you've already made it really deep into bracket, and you don't want to give up just yet. If you're playing against a really good player, yeah, but you want to, you're also on stream. You want to show the world that you aren't just going to get, you know, knocked into loser's bracket so cleanly. All right, I'm really liking the recovery mix-ups. Pokemon realized that that was one of the issues. That was one of the things that Ling Ling was doing really well against him. The tree actually connecting, and he heals a little bit off of the apples. All of a sudden, maybe he can take this stock. Oh, he's living just barely from that back air. Oh, good job. The recoveries we're getting are getting so much better right now. And the fact that almost all of Ling Ling's stocks, or the stocks that he's taken, rather, have been from edge guards mean that, yeah, now he's having a much more difficult time. That back air, though, it's so consistent, so good. It's one of the reasons why Peach is still uh, among one of the best characters in the game.